Well, I'm Chris, and this is my 1972 Volkswagen Beetle. We're going to be doing the hood latch. So the lever's inside your glove box. This is paper and trash. They have plastic ones. You can see how it's riveted to the paper, the cable. They're usually always broke right there where it's held down. And then it goes over to the latch, and this is what you see when you open your hood. All right, so this is a good one. I pulled it off my parts car. So if you look under here, there's a spring. The spring is very important. And notice how that circle is being obstructed a little bit by that piece. That's the lock. So mine is missing a spring. And if that spring isn't there, anybody can just open up the trunk of your beetle. So this button is for the safety latch. The safety latch is very important and very, very functional on the beetle. Probably one of the best I've ever seen. And it has its own latch over here. So it's completely separate. That's your hood safety latch and that's your actual hood latch. Notice the circle is completely open. So what you wanna do, get your camera to face you, take a picture of it. That way you can compare it to pictures online or this one. And we notice the spring's missing. So on the car, you have to come in here and this will be in the up position and you have to pull it down and it'll unhook it, boom, and it'll release it. Obviously this one does nothing. So it's just riveted to the side of the glove box. This is plastic, 72, get you a plastic one. There's the broke cable. The cable just runs through there. It runs right there. So they sell this piece for about $20, but you really only need a spring. 99% of the time, that's only gonna be the problem. There is a guy on eBay that sells them for $10. I ordered one. And then I bought this parts car the next day. Somebody's like, man, you completely ruined that perfectly good vintage glove box. So I sell stuff like this on eBay. That way you get a lever, cable, the little bracket, and the latch. And I'll put the new spring in when I get it. Right now we need to take the spring out. Very easy. Remember the way it went in. I'm going to try to do it with that reverse facing camera. I could probably get my head in there. Let me just get the spring on there. As soon as we put that spring in there, look what happened. So it should latch the way it's supposed to. Oh my goodness, look at Oh, it's tight. Oh man, that's the first time I've. Oh man, look at that. So there's a spring on there. So whenever we pull down, it shouldn't be hard. We can adjust that spring if it is, but just with one finger. Oh, it's hard. Oh no, don't tell me it's broke. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe it was disconnected for a reason. Oh no. They unhooked that spring for a reason. Now I gotta figure out how to open this hood. You need to go in and find some kind of fixed measurement that's gonna allow you to hold that lever down. And you want to hold it all the way down, as far down as that lever will go. Hopefully, you're going to be able to come over here and the hood will open. Okay, good. Next thing you do is you look in there. See how we aren't completely free in that circle? How is the hood going to open whenever the latch part is still in the way? See this one? All out of the way. So what do you think we need to do? We need to adjust that right there. So you see right there that wire, somebody broke the end off of it. So we need to pull it out just about an eighth of an inch for right now. So be careful how you do this. We're just gonna loosen that. And let me figure out how to do this. What the problem on mine is, is this spring is too weak. So we can go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna show you something cool. So I'm going to go to the hardware store and try to find a stronger spring because I think that's the problem right there because I want you to see this look Look at this and if we pull the cable Okay, so Look at that That's why it's not opening the hood Because my adjustment is all the way out. Okay, so there's a flathead place. We just screwed it in we put some tension on the spring and I want you to see what happens now. <laughs> That's why our hood won't open. Because that spring is what makes it pop open. 
I'll go do it from inside the car now. Okay, so if the spring's no good, well, let's go ahead and stretch the crap out of it and see if that helps. All right. So now once we thread it in, we have tension on this piece already. It really should work now. Okay. We could totally live with this look. Let's go ahead and adjust that spring out just a little bit more. So we pulled it out a quarter inch. Let's go do another quarter inch. You can feel plenty of tension on that now. So you see what we did there? We stretched the spring out. Now it's working every time. Let's do it one last time. Okay, you hear it? It sounds like a hood now. Okay, it's working every time now. Beautiful. So this thing adjusts front and back a little bit and we have it almost as far out as we can get it but make sure that's tight we had no tension on the spring at first stretching it half an inch a lot better now we are going to be looking for a higher tension spring like a thicker spring so we also took a little bit of slack out of that cable because remember it wasn't opening the circle 100 percent i don't think that was the problem i think it was a spring the whole time we're done here Put that latch all the way up, done. All right, so I did spend about an hour on the hood latch, totally worth it. But we did learn about that spring. We will eventually make that one work perfect. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.